Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I'm fine. Kisumu is also fantastic. If there is one individual in this country who has consistently been betrayed by his allies, then that individual is none other than Raila Amolo Odinga. I want you to take the case of Kisi. We have come here because we've been members of ODM. I was an ODM governor. And uh, as you all know, Janet was the executive director of ODM for more than 15 years. The founding executive director, and she served for over 15 years until uh, she went to Senate and uh, to the National Assembly. Uh, she is currently the deputy chair of the ODM party and she will be able to talk for herself. Uh, but before we do that discussion, allow me uh, to say what they told me to say here. We, as members of uh, the Orange Democratic Movement, in particular my, myself, James Ongwai, former, former Governor Kisi County, and Janet Ongera, Deputy Party Chairperson of ODM, have today decided consciously to resign from the ODM party with immediate effect. In Kisi, Raila Odinga had two close allies, Janet Ongera and James Ongwai. Let me just tell you a bit of story about the two guys so that you can understand why the betrayal against Raila Odinga is out of this world. When Raila Odinga wanted to contest for the presidency of the Republic of Kenya in 2007, he picked on James Ongwai, who had actually retired from government, to be his chief campaign manager. Then along the way, Ray Odinga realized that he didn't have a serious candidate for the Kisi gubernatorial race or seat. Ray Odinga ended up prevailing upon James Ongwai to resign as his campaign manager to go and contest in Kisi. That's how James Ongwai managed to become the governor for Kisi. James Ongwai didn't have any idea about being the governor for Kisi. He served for two terms successfully with the full support of Raila Amolodinga. And now listen to him. Thank you very much. What, uh, what one can tell you is that, um, you know, politics, uh, they say politics is the art of the possible. They say politics is also about interests. And I think they also say politics has no enemies or friends. So uh, you are not tied to any particular uh, position because uh, all these leaders that we have in this country have oscillated uh, through various parties. And so uh, for us, as leaders of the Omogusi community, we are I think I believe the sixth largest uh, community in this country. We are also known to be serious farmers. We are also known to be people that are uh, most in the local diaspora. Uh, most, in fact, more than a third of the population of the Gusi communities in the local diaspora because of the diminishing land size in Kisi. We have the highest, probably one of the highest, next probably to Kiambu, of uh, persons per square kilometer of land, over 1,000 persons per square kilometer of land, especially in Kisi County. So we are a people that are in the broader context of the interests that we are looking at. We are people that uh, should join a political process uh, that uh, is able to take care of their affairs. Then take the case of uh, Janet Ongera. Janet Ongera served as the executive director for ODM for 15 good years. In fact, most people believe that people like Janet Ongera were the reasons why ODM party lost, especially in Kisi. Silvanus Ongera, I mean, Silvanus Osoro has always told his supporters that were it not for Ongera, he would have won the ODM nominations and probably he would be a member of ODM party as we speak. So Janet Ongera really messed up the ODM campaigns in Kisi. In 2017, ODM didn't manage to win a single seat in Kisi 
in the name of members of parliament janet ongera won her seat uh ongwai also won his seat listen into janet ongera founder member of odm i'm a founder member of odm in fact a member number 009 and uh, i don't regret having been in odm we have grown in it but it's now time for us to exit and uh, we i resign as the deputy national chairperson and also as a member of ODM um, we feel very sad that our party no longer meets the aspirations in which we founded it we founded a party that we wanted it to be a social democrat party meeting the aspirations of many people and it was indeed one of the most popular and the biggest party in Kenya but today ODM has shriveled into a very small party because of its poor management and running of affairs thank you very much uh, but what's the secret behind the high profile defection from ODM to Kenya Kwanza in Kisi because the other individual who has betrayed Raila Odinga is uh, Beatrice Kwamboka Business Kwamboka was a member of uh, County Assembly of Nairobi. Then she contested for the women rep in 2017, failed. She was then nominated as a senator. In the last election, she was not successful. So these three individuals have actually stood with Raila Odinga when they are benefiting. And when they lost, now they don't recognize Raila Amolo Odinga. But why are they leaving ODM party? That is the biggest question. Why are they leaving ODM party? The truth of the matter is that Raila Odinga decided ahead of uh, 2022 election that he was going to do a few things differently in Kisi. And he decided that Simbarati was going to be the governor for Kisi. And indeed, Simbarati became the governor for Kisi. And finally, for the first time, ODM as a political party can count members of parliament on its ticket in Kisi and Nyamira. But why are they defecting? Of course, the high-profile defectors is different from the people on the ground, the ODM support base on the ground. From uh, our nine sub-counties in Kisi, constituencies in Kisi, all the chairman are here, the youth is here, the woman representative is also here. So I'm giving a press statement on behalf of all these people from all, all over the Kisi County uh, government. And as you can see, the Chamayetu is Kwapa. ODM is Kwapa. So, following the statement by James Ongwai, the uh, Insectional Institute James Ongwai, our immediate former uh, Governor, Janet Ongera, our immediate former woman MP, <coughs> Josephine Ombati, Ken Justin and others, we, the bona fide ODM executive officials from each of the nine branches within Kisi County, categorically state as follows. The attention seekers purporting to be Kisi County ODM officials are rogues, imposters, fraudsters, actors, charlatans, impersonators and shams who are self-seeking. It is needless of them to masquerade as ODM members and officials. They are strangers and non-entities in ODM. Yes. 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 Their act is an exercise in mass futility that is filled with hopelessness and in consequence of the ODM structure within the boundaries of Kisi County. It should be Factually noted that the state members were never involved in as new Naumoja campaigns, but played nocturnal politics within our opponents then. That was an act of betrayal of trust, deceit to the party that had held them highly for a long time. Yes. Their said exit, which was long overdue, anyway, is their political lapse. So in this video, I want us to look at why this high-profile defection from K. 
kisi. Before we do that, in case you are watching the channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is now. Let us get back to the main issue. Why are we witnessing high profile defection from ODM party or from Azimio to Kenya Kwanza? Number one is William Ruto's charm offensive. William Ruto is keen on consolidating certain regions. Regions he probably believes that he has a chance in 2027. I've always opined on this platform that William Ruto is not still very sure with the support he's likely to get from the mountain. Because he believes that if those people, despite voting for Uru Kenyatta the way they did in 2013 and 2017, still decided not to vote for Uhuru. How shall I see that they'll vote for him? So William Ruto is looking into breaking into new grounds. Kisi is one of them. He made attempts in the last election, failed, and he's also targeting other places like uh, Western and uh, Coastal Region. But Kisi is now one of his main targets. And you, can, you could clearly tell from uh, the way Janet Ongera and... Uh, Ongwai were trying to defend the appointments of uh, cabinet secretaries and the two nominated senators. Because the members of parliament from that region, including the ones elected on UDA, had actually questioned why William Ruto never appointed anybody from that particular region. But now, here they are. Number two, Janet Ongera and James Ongwai are yet to come to the terms that they actually lost to Simba Arati in Kisi. Ongwai had made ODM as a political party to be his own personal property. He was calling the shots here, he was calling the shots there. I don't know how he wanted the ODM party or Raila Odinga to treat them, but the truth of the matter is that if you compare Ongwai and uh, Arati, there was no way he was going to, to defeat Arati. Arati is a, is a shrewd politician, having served in Nairobi. And there's no way Arati could have just left Nairobi to come and contest in Kisi if he knew there was no chance. He would not have done that. So Arati knew so well what he wanted to do. And he went for it and picked it. But these gentlemen are yet to forgive Raila Odinga because they're used to cases where they've always had their way. Listen in to James Ongwai briefly. Number three is government appointments. <laughs> now, sometimes I even wonder what people actually look for in this world. James Ongwai served as a senior government official in this country. After retirement, he became the pioneer governor for Kisi for two terms. He's still looking for appointment. Janet Ongera served as executive director for ODM 15 good years. He served as a women rep. Again, he served as a senator. Then you wonder what people are still looking for. But they are strategically positioning themselves for appointment. They believe that William Ruto can appoint them. Bad news for them. William Ruto regards or rewards loyalty. As long as you never supported him, it will be very difficult for Ruto to reward you. And lastly, political relevance. These people were part and parcel of ODM. The truth of the matter is that politics has now changed. ODM no longer recognizes them. So the only place they can be relevant is on the other side. And that's why they keep on announcing their departure. They keep on announcing their defection. I don't know how many times they'll be announcing their defection. But for me, I think they're just trying to remain relevant. I don't know what you think, but I think Reludinga has a weakness. And that weakness, I don't know how we can fix it. The weakness of constantly being betrayed. Why is Raila Odinga constantly being betrayed? Why not other people? Why only Raila Odinga? So there's a question there which personally, I think Raila Odinga needs to figure out how he's going to respond or to get a solution to it. Because there is no way one individual can be betrayed constantly by close allies. I don't know what you think. Until next time, Lee McQueen.